Hello, everyone, and thank you for virtually joining my presentation. My name is Carla Costa, and I am a PhD candidate at the University of Houston, Conrad Hilton College. So today I'm going to talk about the development of an online food safety training toolkit, or FOSS, as I will commonly refer to during my presentation, to enhance low literacy food handlers knowledge retention. And I conducted this study alongside Alberto Beza, Isabella Rashki, and Dr. Sujata Sirsat. We would like to thank the Society for Hospitality and Food Service Management Foundation for their generosity and funding assistance to create FOSS. Without them, this project would not have been possible. So we truly appreciate your assistance with that. An overview real quick, I will discuss FOSS background and purpose, the subject matter expert interviews that I conducted to create FOSS, the creation of FOSS itself, methodology, and some future goals for FOSS. So FOSS background. Prior to the PhD, I was a health inspector for four and a half years. And during that time, Texas changed its laws. One of those changes truly impacted the hospitality industry and TFER or Texas Food Establishment Rules made this change that required all food employees to successfully complete an accredited food handler training course within 60 days of employment. And this was to be effective on September 1st of 2016. So this means according to TFER that a food employee by definition is any individual working with unpackaged food, food equipment, or utensils or food contact surfaces. So this applies to cooks, servers, janitors, or custodial workers, as well as dishwashers and runners. So anyone who is a food employee needs to have this certification within 60 days of employment. So I saw firsthand how this affected the hospitality industry as I was, you know, in the in verifying compliance for thousands of food employees, I did start to notice a trend that those individuals who didn't get a chance to learn how to read or write, um, any cooks or dishwashers, were not passing the examination portion of this requirement. And this came about since as you can see, it affected our industry since 57% of entry-level workers in a restaurant have little to no level of education. And unfortunately, an employee cannot work in the food establishment until getting certified. An example of why these individuals may not be passing, um, some of the questions that are currently in these food handler exams are made to trick you. And for those that, again, didn't get the opportunity to learn how to read or write, it's very challenging for them. So one of those questions is word by word, how long should you scrub your hands for? The answer choices, as you can see on the screen, 20 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds, five seconds, or 15 to 20 seconds. You may take a guess. A lot of you might think it's A, 20 seconds, but the correct answer is actually B, 10 to 15 seconds, with the key word here being scrub. You should scrub your hands for 10 to 15 seconds, but the entire hand washing process should take 20 seconds. So no worries, if you got this wrong, it's okay. It's made to trick you. But especially for those who may not have had the opportunity to develop those critical thinking skills, Questions like these cause them to fail. So why is food safety training important? Well, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention states that each year, 48 million people get sick from a foodborne illness, 128,000 are hospitalized, and unfortunately, there are 3,000 fatalities from foodborne illnesses each year. In terms of outbreaks, 60% come from restaurants and 14% come from caterers or banquet facilities which infers that the hospitality industry is responsible for nearly 75% of all foodborne illness outbreaks each year, which is a very scary number to think about. So the purpose of FOST 
was to design a nationwide online food safety training tool that prepares low literacy food employees for mandatory food safety training exams. The manner in which we went about in the creation of FOSS was to first interview any individuals or stakeholders who have experience with low literacy food handlers as well as their perspectives. So we conducted semi-structured interviews with stakeholders, 12 stakeholders total participated in the interviews and this included chefs, food service managers, human resources department, as well as health inspectors. Some key highlights from these interviews was that SurfSafe was the most commonly used food handler training program used. And this wasn't an individual decision, but rather a corporate decision, meaning the food manager or chef wasn't able to select which program to use for their employees. In addition, the two topics that uh, food handlers struggled with the most were cross-contamination and personal hygiene. In addition, food managers and chefs recommended to have a pamphlet or follow along sheet so employees who are matured or of older age can easily transition into the use of technology or online training formats. Approximately 20 to 200 employees challenge, um, they had approximately 20 to 200 employees and with the max being a thousand employees. And some of the challenges with that was that it's very hard to keep track of food handler certificates for nearly 200 employees, especially with such a high turnover rate in the restaurant industry. A lot of individuals shared that this was one of their biggest challenge. In terms of ideal time, food managers and directors shared that 20 minutes to two hours was the ideal time. And the health department shared that two days was the ideal time for food safety training. And again, the theme that kept coming up was less words, more pictures, more images for them to recognize and be more comfortable. In the creation of FOSS, thanks to the funding from the SHFM Foundation, we were able to create FOSS with five modules. All five modules have the same content as the mandatory food handler exam with minimal wording and more visuals. The illustrations were hand-drawn by Alberto Beza, and this is an example of three figures, which all, we utilized scientific literature to develop the text, audio, and color choice. So in terms of text, Table two combines illustrations and text within the same image frame in order to ease the strain on the learner. And it makes it easier to process and store this information into the learner's long-term memory. In terms of audio and color choice, our wonderful undergraduate research assistant, Isabella Roschke was the female narrator. And we decided this since a study performed determined that um, they wanted to see if a female versus a male narrator would be more effective in explainer videos. And the results suggested that viewers trusted a female narrator significantly more compared to a male narrator. And then in terms of colors, Sue and Ma suggested that cooler tones such as shades of blue or green should be used as the background color for training presentations as they tend to have a psychological impact on the learner that creates a peaceful and tranquil feeling. So even though warmer tones may not be ideal for background colors, they are effective as visual triggers um, and can be used to draw the eye to specific areas within the training modules or highlighting incorrect practices as can be seen in table four, figure three. So with that, we created FOSS and the website is up and running. If you wanna take a look at it, it's FOSS.org. FOSS ended up being less than 20 minutes long. It's free and accessible and it's a great tool for managers to use. We are currently looking for nationwide establishments that will collaborate with us to enhance employees' ability to pass the food handler exam. If you are interested, I do have my email at the end of this presentation. And what I would do is send you a step-by-step -step guide on how to utilize FOST. 
And with that, you would have a free access to a surf safe certificate if your employee passes the examination portion, which is what FOSS is developed for. The methodology, um, COVID-19 kind of threw us a curveball. So this is why we're looking for individuals who are interested. The experimental group would go through a pre-training survey, proceed onto the online food safety training, which would be SurfSafe, and then FOSS, and then take the final examination. Future goals for FOSS are to expand it to different languages as it's currently only um, in English, uh, but in the future, we would like to expand it to other languages like Spanish. And then we would also like to implement any some animation features as well. Again, I would like to thank the SHFM Foundation for their generosity in making FOSS possible and the food safety research team. So Alberto Beza and Isabella Roschke and Dr. Searsat for their assistance in this project. Thank you. And I wish I could be with you all in person. Um, but if you have any questions, please email me at kmacosta2 at uh, and I look forward to hearing from you all. Thank you.